not just about the body. We don't work so hard just to show our body. If you want to make the world better, it has to start from yourself first. It has to start from individual. The three factors that can make the world better is like peace, friendship, and equality. So that is just like to show my three advocacy in this journey. Hi. I have heard that this is the very first crowd yeah. for Vietnam countries. Yes. How do you feel about that? I actually feel I was in shock. On the stage, I was in shock. My head got blank. I have nothing in my head at that time. And after I crowd and go backstage and on my phone, it's really like a boom in my country, you know. All of my crowning moments appear all over the place. Mm -hmm. From young to old men, they all know about me. Like it was a history. It's, I make a history for Vietnam because we have been waiting for so long for a crowd, this grand international crowd to Vietnam, and I make this. So that was very, very like a big, a big history in Vietnam right now. When people are talking about beauty pageant, yes. they just talk only about how she looks, yeah. her pretty face, yeah. perfect body, yeah. and nice mind. Yeah. As a Miss Grand perspective, do you think it's just only about that? No, of course, because like we, we have been working so hard just not to show our body mm -hmm. because we have our opinion, we have our like belief. We work for it to show our belief and spread our belief to all over the world. And in here, it's like stop the war and violence. A lot of girls, like they come here with like to protect the abused uh, woman come here to the, protect the children. A lot of people they come here with their belief and they want to spread that belief to all over the, all over the world. It's not just about the body. We don't work so hard just to show our body. Yes, but I think that like if to the, to the people who still think like that, she, they need to like discover more about beauty pageant to get to know more about it, like clearly about it, to, don't, to stop that mindset. That's it. For me, my advocacy is like for human rights, equality, and also the love and the peace. Because I I don't have like a complete family like order. Mm -hmm. uh, as as I was since I was a child, mm -hmm. my parents divorced when I was four, and I live with my aunt. So that's why I always feel feel so sympathetic with all the children that like leaving the orphan or the feeling abandoned or alone. So that's why I always want to spread the message about love. Always be kind to, per, to, to, to everyone and spread love everyone you go. And also the human right and equality. I nice. remember on your speech, you talk about peace, yes. sympathy, yes. and make the world better. Yes. Why do you think this kind of idea is very important for the world? on this day? For me, I think that the macro comes from the micro. So it start, if you want to make the world better, it has to start from yourself first. It has to start from individual. So like I said in my speech, war is the fight between the angel and evil inside each of us. So if we, like, if we can understand and be aware of that and like be control of yourself. So I think that individual get better, then the world will get better because macro comes from micro. Mm -hmm. For people who know not much about you, Let's go back to uh -huh. 10 years ago. Okay. What is your dream uh -huh. when you are a little girl? I actually, to be honest, I never think that I can be a queen when I was young because like before 18, I don't feel any feminine in myself because I don't know how to make myself beauty. I don't know how to make up or like wearing beautiful dress. Just after the first fashion, I just discover about that mm -hmm. and know more about myself. Mm -hmm. So just before that, I just like I was very like like a normal girl, just want to have a like a normal job, like make money to like to like what yes. nurse doctor yeah something like that like doctor like we ha like I just want to like focus on my study to have a normal job like doctor to have like to make money to uh, give for my parents just that is it's just so normal yeah mm. all of my desires just like come up after my first pageant. So where is the turning point? It's actually funny because I never thought of like attending beauty pageant before, but then I go to like, before that I was, don't have much, don't have enough money to go to college. So I had to work a lot of job. Aww. And then I work 
like a makeup model, like so that when I work, like work at a makeup model, a lot of makeup artists they make up for me and they said, oh, why don't you join Miss Vietnam or beauty pageant because your face look good. I was like, oh, if people think that I can do it, then why I don't think that I can do that? Let 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 take a chance. So I, I did that and then I yeah I was playing the top five. How the beauty pageant can change the world better? It was actually because I like I say every girl, every one of us when we, when we come to beauty pageant we have our own belief. If you if a queen a beauty pageant you, you can spread the, that belief, the girl that can trans transform that belief to spread that to order. I think that is the world will get better because like beauty pageants it's just looking for a brand ambassador each beauty pageant they will have their own message we just need to find a girl that like could spread that message and share that message to all over the world i believe that like it would make the world better a lot of queen after they crowd they go to charity a lot yes me too so i, I think that like we would do a world a better a better place with the pageant what kind of like charity foundation I, that you think? Yes, I actually before they, uh, before I came here, I actually attend attending like a uh, kitchen that cook because Vietnam was very like intense period the last four months. So we I attended to the kitchen kitchen that cooked about two thousand three thousand meals per day for all the doctor and frontliners, and it was so hard. And like we have to make, wake up so early at five a.m. till six p.m. to work to keep, uh, to cook for them. Yes, and actually after I crowd, I will come back to my country and do a charity through all of my country. Like we will. Um, Building a school, a bridge, uh, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. One more question. I remember the question on the stage. Mm -hmm. The MC asking like for the pandemic. If you can talk with somebody mm -hmm. who you want to talk to, right? Yes. This is not on the stage right yeah. now. You have the second chance. Uh -huh. I will choose that. I will choose her too. I know that when the question this is on, I know that a lot of people will talk to the president of their country. I mm -hmm. know that for sure. But I just want to choose the one, like, first of all, I want to think differently. And the second thing, I think that I, if I talk to the president, I want to talk to somehow that to make them like change their mind or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me because I'm just a girl, 20 years old girl. So I really want to choose a different way to like to touch the other people's soul or heart. Because I know that if I thank them with the grateful like that, I want to share to share that thing to own to own over the world to people like who are still working for the vaccine to people who are still working for the for the variant of vaccine something like that they have the motivation to work harder mm. for a better world for us and work hard because sometimes you don't need to like like need you sometimes you just need to give but don't think like like taking something back because then the world will, world will give it back to you more than you expected. That's the message that I want to show to the world. So if you give me the second chance, I will still choose like that. Even though a lot of people told like that, uh, I was like not right on point or the question, or my question is not right or something like that. But I just choose that because that's the message that I want to spread to the world. I think it's quite like interesting because yeah. like, for people who work for vaccine, yeah. they're gonna have like more support yes, and yes, do yes. something That's more what I difficult. Want to do. That's what I want to do because I know that they work so hard, but that nobody know about them. Nobody know about the, the hard work. So I just want to know that yes, I'm here. I'm talking to the world. That I know that you guys are here, and I feel I just want to send to you guys the sincere thanks to you. Mm. Just like that. Okay, a real last question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you want to talk to your Vietnamese fan and Thai fan uh, so as a Miss Grand International 2021? Mm. Can I say in Vietnamese? Good, okay. fine. Cảm ơn mọi người rất là nhiều. Thật sự thì Tiên đã cố gắng rất là nhiều, nỗ lực từng ngày để có thể có được chiếc vương miệng này và Tiên chắc chắn là hành trình tới Tiên sẽ uh, có một nhiệm kỳ làm cho cả Việt Nam tự hào. This girl is for you, Vietnam. And to the Thai fan, I just want to say thank you, you guys, so much. At first, I came here, I didn't, 
I didn't think that I will get much support like this. You guys was like my second home, and I will like I will have a very great journey in here. Thank you so much, Kapunka. Back to do na ka. Hmm. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much.